Okay, welcome back to science. I know this does not look like science. However, we're talking, we're starting something. So we, you guys were finding um, the root word hydro. And um, did you find out if it's Greek or Latin? Greek. Greek. And what does hydro mean? Hydro means water. Um, what were some of the related words you came up with? Uh, one. Give me one, your favorite word that you came up with on your paper. What? Spell it. Holy cats, that's long. Hydromechanical. If you've already gotten the words there, you don't need to add that one. If you needed one for one of the spots, you can add that one or one of the uh, the next ones that come up. So H Y D R O F fluoride. F L O. Sorry, C H L O R I D E, hydrochloride. Um, hydro, what? Spell the last part of it. K O W E R. Oh, hydropower. That was not P O W E R, it was not what I heard. Um, and then last but not least, hydroelectric. Hydroelectric. Um, and then you would have wrote original sentences and you would have drawn a snapshot, synonym, antonym. So if it's water, if hydro means water, same word as water, what's the opposite of water? We talked about this the other day in the Southwest. Dry or drought? You don't have to as long as you have something that's comparable. All right, so... <clears throat> so we've talked about it it's water we've discussed it the hydrosphere is all of the water on our earth the hydrosphere is all of the water on our earth so when we yep all of the water on our earth is part of the hydrosphere so where can water be found on earth like, I can find water, turn your, flip your page over, I can find water in the ocean. I can find water in Great Lakes. I can find water in What? Fountains. Fountains. That's actually how we got water when we were over in Switzerland. They would have a fountain in like the middle of the square kind of thing. And it would have water coming out of the fountain and it was safe enough to go put your to put your water bottle right underneath it, fill your water bottle up, and it was cool water. It was lovely. Um Streams. You can, you just need to know what you're doing.
underground. Huddles. Rivers. Clouds. Did I miss anybody that hasn't had one turn yet? All right, so these are just some of the places you might find water at. Um, a, a, a Great Lakes would also be just in lakes, ponds, fountains, streams, underground, puddles, rivers, clouds, snow, right? Top of mountains would be in snow. Um, it's found in glaciers. It's found in um, icebergs. Um, just total... Well, our, yeah, our fishbowl has water. But when you're talking hydrosphere, you're talking about one of the spheres of Earth, right? So you're really not, you're really talking about where would it be located on the Earth, not so much in fishbowls. So you need to figure, we need to, you need to understand how much water is in each of these locations. So I have some water task cards. Welcome back to science. I know you see the fishbowl, kind of. Fishbowls here. We're going to be doing a science experiment. I'm going to do the best that I can to get you guys to see what we're doing. Um, so this is called a graduated cylinder. So if you notice on the side, it has numbers. Uh, you're listing right now. I'll let you know when you need to write. So, oops, there you go. So, it goes up to 100 milliliters. So, at the bottom, obviously, it's zero. Maybe. there's And then there's 10, all the way up to 100 milliliters. This is glass. We made sure we got the glass one so you could see. Okay. Now, it says, so here is my experiment, part one. It says pour 970 milliliters of water into a thousand milliliter container. I could not find a thousand milliliter container. This is a hundred milliliters. So I'm going to try to get it to work so you can see it. But I'm going to eyeball it myself. So I started pouring it just to make sure that there would be enough water ooh right on the nose so let me see if I can flip it up and see if you can see it hang on just a sec I'm not going to show you all of them but this one is 100 milliliters you see the 100 milliliters there I'm like spot on okay the rest of them I'm just going to mess. Okay, so I dumped the first 100 milliliters into the fish bowl. I'm going to fill some more 100 milliliters. I'm not going to necessarily show you this because it will be really time consuming. But you can watch me fill them. So here goes the next one. Um, hopefully I can get it right without making a big water mess. Okay, I got to look at my side. Need a little bit more water. Need a little bit more water. Trying to get really close to what I need to have. <gasps> Too much. Mm. Ooh. Almost tipped it again. Ooh, that would not have been good. All right, so here's the next 100 milliliters. Miss Richardson again. Rocking the spot on mittness today. Look at that. Brilliant. All right, here we go. Going down, then I'll tip. Anyway, 
anyways, here we go. How many hundred milliliters do I have? 200. And I need how many? Woo, too many again. Okay, so that's 300. Oh, sorry, you can't see. Too much again. Four hundred. I know this is boring, but we'll get to the fun part in a minute. Five hundred, right? So far, five hundred is that where we're at? Yeah. Woo. Six hundred. Seven hundred. Oh, too much. Ooh, perfect. Eight hundred, right? Am I eight hundred? Nine hundred and then I need nine hundred and seventy. All right, gotta watch it. Right, yep, I'm watching. Thank you. Ooh, spot on. I'm getting good at this game. Nine hundred and seventy. All right. Okay, so, did I pour 970 milliliters into the water? I was supposed to be a 1,000 milliliter, con oops, that's my problem. Uh, I was supposed to be a 1,000 milliliter container. I know I got to ro rotate it. Hang on, let me find the rotate. There it is. There we go. So, pour 970 milliliters of water into a 1,000 milliliter container. I don't really honestly know how many milliliters is here, but it went into our fishbowl. Add two drops of blue food coloring to the water, and I'm going to stir it. All right. I got a spoon. Somebody found me a spoon. That kind of well, okay, so it is what it is because no, it won't. I need a paper towel right now before I get dye on myself. Well, I'm gonna be blue, thank you. 
Uh, make sure I didn't put blue on you. Thank you. All right, so here we go. I'm stirring. This is our Earth's ocean. Isn't that kind of fun? All right. So now I need to measure 30. What? Okay, so next I need to, according to my directions, so an investigation one, measure 30 milliliters of vegetable oil into, I'm going to use my 100 milliliter graduated cylinder because it's glass and the other ones were plastic. So, I'm going to rotate you twice. One, two, I'm hoping, nope, not working. There we go, moving on. All right, so here is my... Hold on. Here is my gra graduated cylinder, and here is my oil that the kitchen so graciously loaned us. And how many milliliters do I need? 30. 30. All right, so I don't want to, like, contaminate. Uh, it is food worthy, so yeah, that's why I didn't touch anything to it, right? Which is why it's slightly messier than I typically would be. All right, here we go. See, that's pretty, oops, I'm a little over 30, so I'm going to have to back it off a little bit. Um, Here we go. Hang on. Is that about spot on? I think it is. Is that? Okay. So. All right. Hold on. Let me see if I can get it better. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. It's hard to hold and pour and. All right. So. Back to. All right, so here it is. So then it says, got to rotate you again. There you go. So it says, measure 30 milliliters of vegetable oil into a 50 milliliter graduated cylinder. Carefully pour it, pour it into the 1,000 milliliter container with the blue water. The vegetable oil should float. Shh. All right, let's see. Any luck? <gasps> there it goes. Can you see it? Yeah, so like, think about this. When we have an oil spill, uh, out of a tanker or something carrying oil, like all that oil just stays on the top, which is terrible for, the, yeah, on the top of the ocean, which is terrible for the environment. All right, I'm going to flip this so that I can hopefully show you a different view. All right, let's try this again. Pull you down a little bit. Well, it is what it is. Let's see. Can you kind of see how it's floating on the top? doesn't look really great like it's floating on the top, but it is floating on the top. It's hard to... Yeah, it does kind of look like lily pads. You're right. No, there's initials. I'm golden. 
Well, because what happens is is that um, when I jostled it, some of the oil, like right here, moved into other. Yeah, it moved moved together. All right. So then let's look at our directions again. We'll we'll be drawing this model in our interactive notebook and. Oh, hold on. In a minute, we'll draw this model in our, on a, we got a piece of paper. I didn't send it home with you guys, so you'll just have to, well, I think I sent extra paper home with you guys. Draw this model in, um, on your paper, and then you're going to label portions that represent the ocean water and the fresh water. Okay. So maybe the bottom represents the ocean and the oil is the fresh water? Maybe. maybe. And then it says we've got to fill a 50 milliliter graduated cylinder with 30 milliliters of water. It represents the fresh water you made earlier. Okay, so yeah, the oil is our fresh water. Um, there. Do hand this back to that desk right there by you. Oh, please don't spill it. Uh, not right this second. We'll, we'll leave that there in just a second. All right, so here is my... Um, so here is my graduated cylinder again, and I need to put... Oh, I'm not going to use that one. That's got oil all over it. Um... I need to put how much water in this again, did they say? And I'm using a 30 mil, uh, 100 milliliter. All right, oops, sorry, I can't see that. Here. Trying, guys at home, I'm trying. All right. Mm. It depend. It really depends on the kind of food coloring. The question was, does food coloring have a taste? Like black food coloring definitely does because you have to use a lot of it. My mom used to bake cakes, and when she baked cakes, like it, it tasted nasty when you did like black food coloring because you had to use so much black to tint it. Just a wee bit more. I think that's about it. So here's my 30 milliliters of water. And then I, and this represents the fresh water, which was the oil. So the oil in the big fish, fish bowl was represented the fresh water. Okay. What? Well, I think it was just the, the point was, so here's your 30 milliliters. It was spot on. It is. I think it's, I'm tipping it on accident. All right. See, it looks spot on this way. I think it is spot on. It just doesn't look it when it's up in the thing. All right, so here's my fresh water. Um, I need to pour, so let's see if I can do, is it upside down, right side up? No. Is this right side up? Yeah. And where, oh where? Do, 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 There we go. Number two, pour 25 milliliters of it into a cup labeled glaciers and ice caps. So, this can be... This can be our glaciers and ice caps cup. Let's see. I gotta make sure I get 25 in there. Because 30 minus 25 leaves me with huh, 5. Okay, so that's. So my cup, let me see if I can sharpie it. Well, because then you can see it, right? If you can't really see it, I can see it up to the light. 
So what were we labeling? Glaciers and what? Okay, so let me see if I can flip it up and show you. Yep. So here's my, there you go. Here's my glaciers and ice caps level of my little Dixie cup. And it's up to like right there. Okay. I don't know why it's not focusing, but maybe that's my problem. Put it right here. Anyways, you get the gist. So then my next direction says this. Pour 4.2 milliliters of the remaining water into a cup labeled ground water. So I have to do 4.2 milliliters. I don't know if mine's going to do... I'm going to label this one ground water. Notice I'm being smart and I'm labeling before I pour. <laughs> so 4.2. Oh, shh. This one's not going to go low enough. Let me see if this one will go low enough. Mm, nope. All right, so I'm going to have to guess if I gosh it. Yeah, we'll call that 4.2, maybe. We'll sprinkle a little bit more in there. All right, so I'm going to draw my line on the groundwater. Oh, my gosh, can't even see that thing in there. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like this is barely like making a dent in this. Like it might be like that, but like, let's see, might even be like that. But like, look, literally, look. See if you can see how much water's in there. There is. See that? You can kind of just see it. If I put. I don't know if I can put any little drops of coloring in there or not. Maybe. It's going to change the liquid a little bit, but let's see. There you go. Well, I, if I put a drop of food coloring in it, no, but how else are you going to see it? See? Whoops, where are you at? There you go. So that's, that, that's all, oops, there we go, oopsies, there we go, ah, oh, there we go, see, that's all the water that's there is like, that's about 4.2. Now look at this one, I didn't shake this one very well. This one you can see a little bit better now through the, I know, I'm trying, I'm trying. You can kind of see it a little bit better through the cup now, right? Because you can see the coloring behind it. If I was smart, I would have a clear thing, but I really don't. Let's see. If I dump it back in my... No kidding. So this is the level of my... Oops, down, over. This is my ice caps and glacier water. And, yeah, I'll just pour this out so you can see the other one. Oh, shoot, that was the wrong one. Yeah, that's about right. Well, I'm looking. There, I got it. There you go. Thank you, though. 
Don't spill the water, Miss Richardson. Don't spill the water. Oh, I was going to put this one in there. Um, look, so this is, represents the groundwater. Yeah. So you can see it a lot better in the clear thing with the blue dye. That's the groundwater. This is glacier and the polar ice cap. Oh, this way. There we go. So this one is the glacier and the polar ice caps. This one represents the groundwater. It doesn't. And and realizing though, what the what was the all the water was what was in the fish bowl, right? We're only really playing with the oil water, which is your fresh water. And then if you look at this one, so then what's my next my next direction? It, look at the remaining water should equal zero point eight milliliters. This is the amount represents the amount of water in rivers, lakes, and reservoirs. So if I can drop Realizing this is probably going to be about equal amount almost of those 0 0.8. And I'm not going to pull this amount out of the beaker or the graduated cylinder. But right there. And that might even be a little bit too much because I accidentally had to pour a little bit in. But you think, figure that's the amount of water that's in... Um, that's the amount of water that's in our rivers, our lakes, and our reservoirs. That's crazy, isn't it? Zero. Oh, there's no decimal, but it should be a decimal, right? Because 4.2, 0 0.8 equals the whole, right? Um, and then we're going to draw this in just a minute in our interactive notebooks. So, well, you're going to draw it on your piece of paper. So, hang on just a second. Okay, so now what it says is we need to draw it. So, um... We didn't... I'm going to draw a different shape. Um, I folded mine hot dog. So we were supposed to draw, or we were supposed to use a big cylinder with a hundred or a thousand. So this would be our thousand milliliters. That's not what ours looks like, but that's pretend our thousand milliliter line, okay? So then what we did was we had, yep. So what we had was we drew, or we had water. Do not tip, Miss Richardson, whatever you do, do not tip dye all over your desk. Okay. So, if you think about this, we have a thousand milliliters and we poured in 970. So, we poured in 970. Let me, let me. So, this would be 500, right? This would be 500 milliliters. And then, if I do half of a half, this would be what? 750 milliliters. This would be 800. This would be 900. So if I'm doing 970, my 970 is going to come to right about, probably right about there, right? 
So this is all. And they said, this is all the water. This is our Earth's oceans. Um, you will in a minute. Or you can grab out your colors right now and do it right now. It's fine. Because remember, we dumped the blue in, and it was pretty light blue when we got when we dumped our light blue in, right? So, so what I did was when I did it, I said, okay, this is so. If I said this is a thousand milliliters from the bottom to there is a thousand milliliters. What I did was I went halfway would be 500, half of a half was 750, and then this is probably 8, this is probably 900, and 970 is really close to 1,000 milliliters, right? You guys follow my logic so far? I know we did ours in a, I know we did ours in a, a fish bowl, but I need to make sure I had something that was big enough for it to work, right? Uh, I want you to color in everything because this whole thing represents Earth's oceans. This is all the water that's found in the oceans and our entire globe. This is the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean. These are all the oceans represented here. It's a lot of water in our oceans, isn't it? It is. So this, this whole big nonsense, this whole thing represents, this is our oceans. So we have So there's like the Atlantic, you might want to, Atlantic, the Pacific, the Indian, there's more, but I'm, I think I spelled it right, I'll have to check, um, the Atlantic, Pacific, Indian, Ocean, those, and there's more, right? But that just, I think there's Arctic Ocean. But um, those, this represents all of our oceans. Watch this. And then we added 30 milliliters of vegetable oil. The 30, uh, nine, so, so if we did 970 plus 30, equals how much? That equals a thousand milliliters. So I can color the fresh water right up to that line. Trying really hard not to go into the light blue. But realistically, look at how small that is for fresh water. And then, if I draw three containers at the bottom, and I'm going to draw three smaller ones because that was our thousand one, right? So I need to do three, I'm going to do 350 milliliters. So this is 50 milliliters here. And this is 50 milliliters here. And this
is 50 milliliters here. Okay. And the first one represented glaciers and ice caps. So we're going to label this one glaciers and ice caps. And the next one they said was um, groundwater. And then this is rivers, lakes, and reservoirs. Rivers, lakes, and reservoirs. Okay. So we're going to take that little bit, that 30 milliliters. So I'm going to use the same color. So I'm going to take this 30 milliliters from the tippy top of here, and I'm going to split it into this one. I'm using my dark blue, yes. This one and this one. Mine's almost a purple. Now the first one says you put, we put 25 milliliters. So 25 milliliters is half of 50, right? So there's my 25 milliliters. So I'm going to color right up to the 25 milliliter mark. I am just so that you, because I used the dark blue at the top last time, I'm using the same dark blue so that we can see it, right? Yeah, mine's purple. It's fine. It's fine. Mine's kind of purplish too. So then the groundwater, so this was, we said this was 25 milliliters is what we put in here, right? The next one, they said 4.2 milliliters, 4.2 milliliters, and this one would have been 0 0.8 milliliters. So 4.2 milliliters, oh, I need that same thing. I'm going to change it to light blue just so that we can see the, the, thing, the darkness a little bit better. So this is 25, right? I'm going to use the dark blue. I'm using light blue so that we can see the contrast. Does that make sense? I hope. So if I count by fives, five, if this was five, ten, fifteen, twenty, okay, that's good. So this is five, ten, fifteen, twenty, that's twenty-five, right? So my, I need to come just under that line with, for ground water. Look at that, just under that line for groundwater. This is our fresh water. This is the water we drink. Out of the water that we drink, only, out of the water we drink, over half of the water we could drink is found in glaciers and ice caps. No, look. All of this, all this light blue is ocean water. It's salt water. We can't drink it. The only part of the water that we can drink is this teeny, teeny, teeny little bit of a line up here. Water we can drink, right. Because it will dehydrate us and it, salt water just makes you more thirsty. And you can get really, really sick if you drink too much. Now, look at what we did with this teeny... With this teeny, teeny line of bl dark blue, we made over half of it hanging out in the glaciers and the ice caps. Have over half of our fresh waters in glaciers or ice caps. 4.2 milliliters is hanging out in our ground. So like the well water you drink in Ithaca, it's hanging, you pump it out of the ground, you drink it. 
and then it goes back into the ground, it replenishes it, and then you pump it back out and you drink it again, okay? Look at this, rivers, lakes, and reservoirs. So, like, the Hoover Dam has a big reservoir right behind it, right? We talked about that the other day in the southwest. 0.8 milliliters. Well, I got to be honest with you. If this is 25, this is 20, this is 15, this is 10, this is 5. If this is 5 right here. This is 5 milliliters. What is going to be 0.8? Well, I have to somehow solve this, like each one of these is going to be like, this is probably one, this is probably two, three, four, five. So this is probably, oh, i got to use light blue so we can see it. I don't think you're going to see it. If, so this is maybe the amount of water. That's fresh water that's hanging out in our rivers, lakes, and reservoirs. You can't even see it. You can't even see it. What? Well, you know, you think about how big the Great Lakes are, but you, you know, you think about this. When you're comparing the Great Lakes and you think about, how, oh, Great Lakes are huge, right? This is all the river water, the Great Lakes water, the lake water that you put your pontoon on and your boat on, or um, all of that water really boils down to being that teeny tiny. You can't even you can't even really see it in this. Remember what was it? It was the one that was like. It's not that one. It was this one, and it wasn't even like. I mean, you can kind of see it, but mainly. I mean, this is probably more than it's supposed to be because I had a hard time figuring out how low it should go. Yeah, so the majority of our water is found in an ocean. This little bit, this dark at the very tippy top, this is this little thing right there, that little bit is 30 milliliters of fresh water and with the 30 milliliters of fresh water over oh i'm sorry it's not over half it's um well five out of six five sixths of it is hanging out in a glacier and ice cap because I well what I was thinking was I was out of 50 but it's not we were supposed to make a 50 milliliter graduated cylinder so out of the 30 milliliters of fresh water way more than half of it's hanging out here because if I was to put another line here if I was to split it like this it's about like this right that was about five out of the total of 30 out of the total of 30 milliliters of water, of fresh water, 25 of it's found in glaciers and ice caps. Out of the 30, out of the 30 milliliters of fresh water, 4.2 milliliters is found in groundwater. And if I made this, if I made this my halfway mark, right, the 25, out of our 30 milliliters of fresh water, 0 0.8, less than one milliliter is found in rivers, lakes, and reservoirs. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Out of all of this water, and that teeny little bit is fresh water, out of the teeny little bit, most of it's found in glaciers and ice caps. A wee bit of it is found in the groundwater, like, and barely, and barely anything is found in rivers, lakes, and reservoirs. Right. 
So we have a lot of water on the earth, but we just don't have a lot of drinkable water, which is why when we talked about drought yesterday or the southwest yesterday, it was pretty significant, right? And how I said, you can't go to an ocean and pick up water to fill, you know, to take care of the, what? To take care of the fires, you have to use fresh water. Well, if they don't have fresh water, where are they going to get it from? And one of their solutions they talked about is putting a pipeline from the Great Lakes straight down there so that their people can drink fresh water. All right, we are way over our science time, so we will talk to you later. Hope you enjoyed your experiment. Bye.